Log Talk Radio. Aloha. I thought I did miss that little blog talk radio. Hi, my friends. It's been months since I have done a show, and I finally felt stable enough to kind of bring a channeled message through. Um, Hold one second here. Let me deal with my volume. Hold one second. I'm having a little issue here. Um... Hold on a second, guys. I love you. This is just terrible. (laughs) Five, four, here we go. All right, I'm here. My precious ones, I had a little bit of a difficulty there. Anyway, I have this incredible channeled message I wanted to kind of share so that you could understand what 111111 actually means, this very powerful day that we are living in right now, this very powerful moment in eternity. This is a very important transitional time on the planet as well as the 2012 coming December of 2012. We have some very powerful dates as well as 2013. But I'm just going to settle on what we're going through today and I'm going to get right into it. Um, I also wanted to say thank you so much for supporting my show and supporting my YouTube and just supporting me as a human being. I've had so much growth on my own to better myself as a person, to not be a hypocrite. I work on it every day. I never want you to think I play the guru or that I think I'm better than anybody. I am humbly here to do this blog show from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry I made technically little glitches here and there. It may happen in this show, but I'm bringing you my raw, true self for you. And I hope you can feel the love because I'm sending it to each and every one of you. Even if there's one of you listening, I love you. So I'm going to get, excuse me, I'm going to get right in here and read this channeled uh, message from Celia Fenn. And it says right here, the 111111 portal. Um, Let me get a sip of water here. It says, Dearest Lightworkers, this is Archangel Michael channeling here, you are indeed moving through a time of great turbulence and change. Some of you may already be feeling the effects in your life of the opening of this 111111 Stargate, which accumulates on the 11th of November. But while this will be a challenging time for all of you who are on the path of conscious ascension, it will also be a time of great radiance and clarity, of hope. The gift that is offered at this stargate is the complete alignment of the higher and lower aspects of the self in absolute integrity. The 111111 gate and what it means. I'm just going to pass over a few things here. Love you guys. Hang in here. The 111111 stargates, or just let's just say the 1111 stargates, are always times when the planet experiences an influx of spiritual illumination. Uh, It also says this year the energy is especially powerful since the usual double 11 gate has been upgraded to a triple 11 gate. This triple 11 vortex represents the accumulation of energies that were originally initiated at the triple 7 or 7-7 doorway in July. Just as the Lionsgate portal opened, at this event, the energy activated the full 12 chakra system of the multidimensional ascended humans. In the past few months, You as lightworkers and members of the first waves of ascension have been working to balance your 12 chakra systems and facilitate the activation of the lower chakras with the advanced energies of the healing orange and pink ray, with the assistance of the divine feminine through the awakening of the solar feminine energies on the planet and within us. Now as this balance is achieved, you are able to work with the energies of this 1111 Stargate to bring the higher and lower aspects of your being into complete harmony and alignment. This balance is achieved at the heart chakra and the the importance of being within your heart's light 
and allowing the heart energies to flow at this time cannot be overemphasized. No matter how much negativity and chaos you see in the outer world and in your personal world, know that this is the right moment for you to move into absolute integrity of intention and and purpose in all your maneuvers. To align your higher self with your lower self and make your life an expression of the radiant energy of your soul and spirit. This will also not be an easy step for those who have chosen to make it. For everything in your life that is not in alignment with higher purpose will fall away from you. Relationships, etc. This will mean the ending of relationships and work changes that may be shocking in their rapid and intense disintegration, but needed for your growth and change. No matter what happens, this 11-11-11, this is a time for absolute honesty and integrity and openness towards your God self and others. You have been working in the last few months rather hard on yourselves, to reach a point where your choices are made from the heart. This is the most important thing. This skill will serve you well now as you begin to demonstrate the reality of new earth consciousness within yourself. You will see only beauty and love. As the old falls away to make room for the new, you will respond with acceptance and grace, courage, humility, You will know that there is a higher purpose to all that occurs, even if negative, no matter how it seems or is perceived by you or by what others see you or how they think. Energetic and physical symptoms of this 11-11 stargate, physical exhaustion and a need to sleep many more hours than usual is pretty quite, quite common. This is because the physical and emotional bodies on the planet are aligning with the higher vibrations of the spiritual bodies to facilitate the complete alignment of higher and lower aspects on the earth. Emotional stress and the ending of relationships can be happening. Everything for change. Everything that is not in integrity within your being and your highest good will end, even if you're totally devoted to it totally locked in it, it will end. These 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 things that are, I find when these things come in your life and they possess you, don't be afraid because they can fall away with one thought. Some endings may include hostility as repressed angers come forth to the surface with this 11-11 portal shift. Depression and sadness is rampant at this time. A feeling of being unable to cope or failing. Do not worry, beloved archangels. I'm saying, (laughs) no. Do not worry, beloved ones. This is meant to be, and your higher aspect is guiding your alignment process. It is not a test. It is not just a test, and there is nothing to pass or fail. It is what is meant to be for your spiritual growth. Don't be hard on yourself. If you are experiencing these symptoms of this alignment, chaos around you, sadness coming out of you, then you have succeeded in the first, the next step of your ascension progress, process, and change. Sorry, I messed up on a few spots. I got messed up on my words. An increase in the apparent chaos of life is what's going on around us. They're saying this, uh, Archangel Michael right now is saying an increase in the apparent chaos of your life. This is apparent because you become, as you become more centered within the peace and stillness of your soul and divine essence in the alignment process, the outer world will appear even more chaotic, more ruthless, more frantic, scarier than ever. Do not allow this to pull you all out of your balance. You're never going to be tested more than right now. Stay within your calm and peace at this wonderful transitional conscious shift. Feelings of emptiness and loneliness 
and becoming tearful, and you're wondering why. Well, this is all part of the complete surrender to the higher aspect and the letting go of the lower self. You have released the hold of the lower ego self and surrendered to the guidance of your higher. This process of alignment represents a no space or void in which the ego self, the self-pride, will feel very alone and lost. But do not allow this to overwhelm you. Just know it will pass and you will move forward into the full realization of your potential as a human angel and earth warrior. Deep feelings of peace and gratitude as the alignment is completed and you shift through these negative emotions and you move into the full experience of this 1111 portal. You re- as you wake up to the inner charges that you can celebrate right now by letting go of the pain, letting go of the anger, letting go of the frustrations, letting go of the bad relationships, just letting go. It's the most important thing for you to do right now. And I will say again, if you wake up to the inner changes, you will celebrate the intense power that you will feel as your higher and lower aspects lock together in balance. And the flow of crystal energy and higher awareness moves through your body and into the planet's crystal grid system. You will begin to feel, and that, by the way, is the Earth's crystals, you will begin to feel a sense of complete harmony between yourself and the planet. As your north ninth dimensional energies activate fully into the crystal grid system, it is time to celebrate, dear ones. Important dates that are coming up, they're saying um, in November, let's see, where should I read here? I hope you guys are hanging on here. I'm really trying to keep you somewhat uh, fulfilled here. There's just so much more to this. I'm trying to kind of find the most important parts I felt to share with you. Really what this is about right now is just about you're going to have the most difficult things are going to be in your face. You're never never probably going to have ever been tried more by the dark side. And if you're one of these beloved, incredible beings that can come in and just be loved at all times, I do know them. They're out there. I seem to have all this karma I'm facing and it keeps showing up in my face until I just give it love and, 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 and until you surrender these resentful feelings and just give it love, there will be no healing. And I think that's what this 1111 is really about is they're saying, look at all the chaos around you. You must let it go and give it love and offer it up so that we can become vessels of light frequency to anchor light for the Mother Earth, for this whole human race that is just sleepwalking, deliberately programmed into a docile state, uh, just completely delusional from any real spiritual insights about anything. It's so important that the few of us light workers that are here, I want to just throw this in, and I'll get back to this, is it December 21st, some people are here trying to be all in their mind saying that they feel that this great 2012 you know, shift is supposed to happen today on 11-11-11. And I do want to say maybe for somebody that's true, but I did, I've been reading with the Ascended Master teachings that December 21st of 2012 is a very, very, very crucial time on the planet that we must anchor light, and I almost feel like dark forces might come in to try to sway us to think that that great shift is 11, 11, 11. No, it's December 21st. I'm almost positive. I will re, you know, go over everything again before I do a show. It's so important that you let these negative feelings go at this 11, 11, 11. So by the time that 2012, December 21st shows up, or December of 2012, you have gotten rid of all of the negative lower frequencies that are shutting down your chakras from alignment, being able to anchor in your mighty I am presence and your holy Christ self, your higher mental body, to anchor your tube of light and become a vessel of, you know, stargate, palladian, I am beyond even palladian. I'm talking archangel beyond the highest you can go. That's where you want to get your energy. Some people find it 
the Palladium. God bless you. I love you, too. I'm just saying everyone has their spiritual, you know, planetary system, their group where they came from. And I, I do think there are several divine, beautiful soul groups out there. And there's also a lot of dark, sinister ones. And the earth is such a duality of light and dark right now. Um, it's it's really the melting pot of the universe where we're here to live out our earth karma. And, and it's so important that we come to God at this time of 1111, this day right now, if we can learn right now, today, to realize the chaos, the sadness, all these things that are coming up on our face, they're all there to be transmuted, to be put through the portal, to be washed through the, you know, the cosmic dishwasher, to be cleansed, the subconscious, to be renewed. Right now, this is it. This is what 11.11 is about. It's not about the ending of the Mayan calendar or any of the stuff I hear. It's pretty crazy what it's about. Let me get back here. I also wanted to say I'm kind of sorry I haven't opened up to any of you and taken any calls. I might try to figure out how to do that. I need a cup of tea here. Anyway, all I can say is thank you for putting up with me. I hope that my show is even airing right now. I really don't even know if I'm on. I'm on the phone and it seems to be okay. I'm going to go back here, though. I want to read you something else about today. About 11, 11, 11. Is, uh, let's see here. Um, in December, Pluto moved into conjunction with the galactic center or great central sun. The sun itself joins the conjunction between the 15th and the 17th of December. The energies for transformation will radiate out from the great central sun. It be amplified through Pluto and the sun. You hear that? The energies for transformation of all this chaos and negative energy and sadness that we're feeling on the planet. This is what we can do. The energies for transformation will radiate out from the great central sun and be amplified through Pluto and the sun. At this time, dearest light workers, those of you who have completed your alignments will shine like the sun itself. You will be radiant stars of the light, much needed, much needed light anchors for the planet. People around you will sense and feel the light that radiates out from you. You will be the golden of radiant ones. You will form a network of light and light workers and hope, and you will transform the planet. See, my friends, how important it is that we come together today and you realize how much I love you, that I wouldn't go on this show and try to, like, put my crazy, you know, train wreck self to the side to channel this through. So important that we let go of the chaos. We let go of the hate. We let let go of relationships that we're in out of guilt that we know are suppressing who we are as light workers. Whatever it is that is your karmic test, your blockage, your wall, whatever it is that you built that has to be torn down, do it today, right now. That's what this day is about, transformation, right now. So all I can say is, I mean, I, I feel... It is so important, um, as you pass here, I'm going to read it, as you pass through this transformation, we ask you to remain centered and peaceful and keep your trust at all times through the negativity, through the hate that's going to come up, through the resentment that's going to come up, through all these hostile feelings that are stored and buried deep from even childhood. They must let go. Keep your balance no matter what happens. You have worked hard to achieve the balance that you already have, what you have already. Now is the time to hold your balance harder than ever. As a group, let us come together as a planetary light workers and let's radiate our light together on this planet for this suffering Mother Earth. There's never been a more important time for us to come together and to share our love and to let go of all our differences. There's nothing worse that gets in the way than political 
or um, you know, religious topics seem to divide people, divide nations. I think it's so important that we just realize that the heart is what matters most. If you can come together and just embrace each other's differences and allow each other to have our differences, but not allow the division because of it. That is like the most important thing. And I just want to say I am so sorry to anybody I have ever offended. I am just a struggling light worker on the planet. As you, with all of my regrets, all of my sad memories of things I wished I had done, opportunities that I just let walk right by, friends that I didn't appreciate that I don't even know how to find. There's so many things, you know, not spending enough time with friends that have passed over. So many things I could get up, upset about. But you know what? It's just all a test there to see, are you going to keep your positive outlook? Are you going to stay with the archangels? Are you going to do what this 1111 is all about? Are you going to take the bull by the horns and take that resentment and take that self-doubt, take those feelings of insecurity, of being hurt by friends, hurt by your boyfriend, hurt by your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, hurt by your children, hurt by a coworker. If there's been anybody who's seriously hurt you, hurt by a family member, and you're carrying this burden with you of resentment, you will never, ever cross over this portal. This is what 1111 is about. There are no excuses anymore. Oh, well, how can I forgive them for this? How can that? No, no. That's, that's BS. This is about really seriously letting go of the BS, letting go of everything in your life that upsets you so that you can't enjoy being in the moment with yourself because you're thinking about who got you upset. That's what I do. I'm like, this is so far from spiritual, this is my biggest test. It's like God continues to bring these people I find offensive, puts them in my face, until I re- realize they're my mirror, that I just need to... So what if they're rude? Turn around and walk away. Be the peacekeeper. Be the guardian of that portal of what 1111 is about. You are a serious light worker on the path. You, you want ascension? You want to walk with the archangels? You want to like be in a heavenly abode somewhere? A higher dimensional the frequency of existence, well, it's not going to happen unless you let go of all the resentment, all of the self-doubt, all of the pain, all the people in your life that are holding you back, the job that you hate that you keep because you don't think you can do better. Whatever it is right now in your life that is not letting you let go, that is holding resentment, whether it's a job, or get rid of it. You have no time to waste. I mean, with 2012 on its way, December 21st, it's another very, very powerful time. We only have 3 million light workers. This is what I've been finding out. Real light workers doing the decrees, pulling on down the violet fire, the violet flame, invoking their mighty I am presence and higher mental body and really activating light through decree, through vibrational, tangible energy, which is what happens when you decree and affirmation. We must come together and get 7 million more light workers. So by December 21st, we'll have 10 million, and then we can create a serious shift in consciousness because there will be enough of us here. We'll still be surrounded by billions of sleepwalking people, but it shows you that 10 million, how much more powerful the light is. If that's all it takes to be able to create this surgence that's going to happen. It could, like I said, it could be the end of the... Uh, to the end, the Mayan calendar ending is just a thought. Could be just the end of uh, the Piscean age and the age of Aquarius. Just an idea. Who knows what it really means? I do believe that there could be some natural cataclysmic events that need to occur to cleanse the earth of this human debris, um, or it could be some sort of a you know, man-made tectonic warfare attack using this 2012 Mayan calendar platform as a means to pull off some of the greatest hoaxes of all time, whether it's alien invasions with Project Bluebeam, 
I don't want to go down that road. That's what my YouTube is for. Let's try to stay, stay spiritual. But part of the dark age that we're in, Kali Yuga, this is the darkest of times on the planet. Like I said, this is the basic duality of light and dark. It's never been more potent than right here. It's so important each one of you realize how important just one of you is. If all we need is 10 million by December 21st to anchor light for this planet, to create her to go into the, our Earth Mother, for her to her frequencies to raise enough in their vibratory action that we are able to move through this portal, this transitional spiritual consciousness that is going to expand and activate the light of Mother, Father, God will never be more empowering for you as a human being. And it's so important that we come together and realize how important each one of you is to anchor light for this earth. So there's 10 million of us to hold light through Violet Flame Prayer and Decree. I hope that you go and you listen to my shows on the Violet Fire, on the Violet Flame. Um, there, let's see if I can go over here. Um, I did put a decree down below. Um, do you guys see if you're looking at my show right now? It says um, a decree that reinforces Archangel Michael's protection in your life. You do see that, right? I'm going to get a sip of tea here. I'll do this with you, and this is what it, what I mean when I say let's anchor light for the planet. This is how you do it. You invoke the violet transmuting flame. I've got videos up here on it. I have a link on my YouTube that says the flame of the violet flame of freedom. What is it? So you can find out the details of how the violet flame uh, raises a frequency, it burns up karmic discord on the planet, it burns up the entity of war. I, I can't begin to tell you what it does, but if we do a decree like this, look at this decree it's right below my show, the comments, a couple inches down. You'll see a picture of my face. I'm touched up, of course, here. It says, a decree, I'm going to do this with you, a decree that reinforces Archangel Michael's protection in your life and increases the qualities of divine faith and God's will. Okay, the decree is going to start here. What a decree is, saying a prayer out loud, it becomes a tangible vibration. It's not just a meditative, meditative frequency. It's much more powerful. We're going to do this together, and I'll just do it slowly. You will done a, Some of you may have done decrees before. This may be your first one. Do this five, six, seven, eight times, five minutes. You will be so empowered, you'll blow your mind. Um, we always have to remember there's a dweller on the threshold of each one of our spiritual paths. It is the entity of doubt that is supposed to be there to make you spiritually lazy, uh, giving you busy work. Oh, I need to do the dishes instead of my light work, or I need to do some laundry. All these little things that you find ways to get out of doing your decree work, that's the dweller. It's our darker self. It doesn't want us to evolve. So remember, we're dealing with this 24-7. And you wonder why you're spiritually lazy. Well, it's deliberately been planned that way. So let's get back to this. This is what destroys the dweller. You've got to push yourself through it. Let's do this together. Right here. Remember, a decree that reinforces Archangel Michael's protection in their life and increases the qualities of divine faith and God's will. Here we go. Light protection manifest holy brotherhood in light. God, wait, sorry, let's start over. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Light protection manifest holy brotherhood in light. Light of God never, oh, they say I've got 60 seconds for it. I keep getting messed up on this. I'm going to try it again. Light protection manifest holy brotherhood in light. Light of God that never fails, keep us in your perfect sight. I am, I, I, I am, I am, I am protection's mighty power. I am, I am, I am guarded every hour. I am, I am, I am perfection's mighty shower. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Lord Michael, mighty and true, guard us with your sword of blue. Keep us centered in the light's blazing armor shining. Okay, my beloved ones, please do that over a few times. You can do it with me, do it with yourself. 
You mean more than anything if you listen to me stumble on this from my first step. I didn't even know if you were there. I don't even know until I go back to my page to see if the show came through. You have your 11, 11, 11. Hopefully this message channeled through by Archangel Michael helps you figure out a little bit about what today is about. Get rid of that baggage. Hold on to that light. Start doing your light work. Start anchoring the violet flame. You start becoming a true light worker and you get into this I am work. It's the lost teachings of Jesus Christ, the real deal, before the patriarchal suppression got off their hands on it. These are real teachings of the ascended masters. Please do your work. The new age has been botched. The dark forces have done everything they can to put down the new age of enlightenment, the new age of hope. The dark forces have made it out to have something to do with the new world order. This is a farce. I am here as an, as an angel of the light to guide you in the right direction with all of my battle scholars showing. I am far from perfect, but I love you for loving me and, and allowing me my process in, with you. I love you, beloved ones. Love you. Love from Maui. Hui ho. Maui sends you sunshine. Aloha.